Hello, CSD families, and welcome to this week's edition of Friday Facts. As of this morning, September 3rd, 2021, the district is still experiencing an upward trend in our COVID-19 numbers for both students and staff. Last week, we reported that 157 students were isolating with symptoms. This week, that number rose to 295 individuals. Now, keep in mind that not all of these individuals have COVID-19. Symptoms could be related to other illnesses. However, we do ask these students to stay at home while they are ill and seek a COVID-19 test before returning to school. With confirmed positive cases, last Friday we had 89 positive students, and today we are at 141. That represents a 58.4% increase. Transmission within the family household remains the most common way COVID-19 is spreading. We have converted six classrooms in two different schools to temporary remote learning for 10 school days because those classes met our threshold for positive cases within a single class. Our quarantines have also risen from 439 students last week to 785 this week, which is a 78.8% increase in students quarantining. This intense contact tracing of close contacts has become our best defense from major spreading within our schools. Please remember, there are only two ways a student can avoid being quarantined due to a close contact in school. The first is if the student remains at least three feet from others and both the infected and the exposed student choose to wear a mask at school. The second is that the student is fully vaccinated. These are not Clover School District rules, these are DHEC rules. Parents, these options remain in your hands at this time, but we encourage you to take them seriously so that we can keep our schools open and in person. Our staff numbers also increased this week. Last Friday, we had 13 positive staff members and 10 individual, individuals isolating with symptoms or quarantining. And today our data show 18 positive staff members and 18 isolating and quarantining. The biggest concern we have for our staff is the lack of substitutes. Parents, we are actively seeking substitute applications. If you have time and would like to help our schools by serving as a sub, or you have friends looking to have the flexibility to choose their work days and their location, please encourage them to apply for our substitute pool. And speaking of our staff, I could highlight our entire Clover School District population for their hard work so far this year. But today I'm going to just highlight two groups. I want to first say thank you to our teachers who are posting their instructional videos and or inviting students into their classroom to view lessons via WebEx while those students are at home isolating or quarantining. We know that both students and teachers are stressed when they have to miss school. And as a district, when you have 13% of your student population going in and coming out, it is a lot of work for our teachers to help students stay caught up with their schoolwork. To our instructional staff, I want to say thank you. And we are working on a plan to support you both practically and financially for this part of our pandemic response plan. The same kudos needs to go to a second group, and it needs to go to our nurses who are taking care of students who have routine sick visits, scheduled medical needs, medical emergencies, and doing all of our COVID-19 student contact tracing. It has been a monumental task, and we are increasing the number of nurses in some of our larger schools to give them some help. In the next week, Clover School District will be formally analyzing our level two plan and strategies to determine if there's more that we can do to keep our students and staff safe. South Carolina, has now surpassed Tennessee as the number one state for COVID spread per capita. I urge our families to take this variant very seriously and to make smart decisions in and outside of school to protect yourself. Tonight is another home football game. We're gonna say go Blue Eagles, but remember to keep yourself safe. Thank you and have a great weekend.